Welcome to Infigyan, my dear friends. In this video, we have another very, very interesting question from Radical Mathematics. We have to evaluate sixth row. Let's get started by considering given expression equal to E. Now we will use rationalization of denominator. So we need to multiply root 3 plus 1 in the numerator and denominator here. So we are having one specific algebraic form in denominator a minus b times a plus b. We can write a square minus b square, which will be equal to 3 minus 1, value will be 2. Denominator is 2. We can write expression e equal to 6th root of 88 plus 240 root 3 plus 1. Denominator is 2. Now these two will be cancelled out and we need to write here 120. So expression E will become 6th root of 88 plus 120 root 3 plus 1. And if we will simplify further, we will get 88 plus 120 root 3 plus 120. Now 88 plus 120 is 208 plus 120 root 3, 120 root 3. This is our expression so far. Now I will write a power 1 over 6 which is 6th root. We can write a power half minus 1 over 3. So 3 minus 2 over 6, a power 1 over 6. Using exponent law, we can write a power half over a power 1 over 3, which is equal to square root a over cube root a. So I can write our expression e, which is 6th root of 208 plus 120 root 3, can be written as square root of 208 plus 120 root 3 over cube root of 208 plus 120 square root 3. Now I will assume numerator is x, denominator is y. Now we are going to calculate the square root and cube root to calculate value of x and y. So I will be writing x first. The square root of 208 plus 120 root 3. Now we can split 208 as 100 plus 108 plus 120 square root 3. 100 can be written as 10 square. 108 is 6 root 3 whole a square and then 120 root 3 we will write 2 times 10 times 6 root 3. So inside this square root we are having a square plus b square plus 2ab. So we can use a plus b whole square formula. I will write 10 plus 6 root 3 whole a square as radicant. Now square root a square will be over we will get our x 10 plus 6 square root 3. Let me write here x equal to 10 plus 6 square root 3. Now we have to calculate y. y was cube root of 208 plus 120 square root 3. Let us consider cubing both sides. So cube root and cube will be cancelled out from RHS. I will get y cube equal to 208 plus 120 root 3. So we can see here 1, 208 plus 120 root 3 is y cube which is greater than 1 for sure. So for real y, y must be greater than 1. 
लेट्स एज्यूम जेड क्यूब द कॉन्जुगेट ऑफ वाई क्यूब सो टू हंड्रेड एट माइनस वन ट्वेंटी रूट थ्री नाउ आई विल एड बोथ द इक्वेश कैन गेट वाई क्यू प्लस जेड क्यू दिस विल बी इक्वल टू फोर हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटीन लेट से दिस इज इक्वेशन नंबर वन नाउ आई विल मल्टीप्लाई दीज टू ऑल्सो so y cube times z cube this will be equal to 208 plus 120 root 3 times 208 minus 120 root 3 so let's apply difference of two squares formula so 208 whole square minus 120 root 3 whole square now 208 whole square is 43264 And square of one twenty square root three is forty three thousand two hundred. So difference will come out sixty four, which is equal to four cube. Now LHS is Y Z whole cube. RHS is four whole cube. So for real Y Z value, once we will take cube root both sides, we will get Y Z equal to four. real solution and this equation i will call equation number 2 let me write here y cube plus z cube equal to 416 and y z equal to 4 now i will consider y plus z equal to suppose t now i will consider cubing both sides so y cube plus z cube plus 3yz y plus z equal to t cube now y cube plus z cube this is 416 so here we will be writing 416 plus 3 times yz yz is 4 So I will write times four. Y plus Z was our substitution. Y plus Z was T equal to T cube. Or we can write T cube minus twelve T minus four hundred sixteen equal to zero. Now we have to solve this cubic equation. So I will write here T cube minus twelve T. i will split minus 64t plus 52t so minus 64 plus 52 is minus 12 minus 416 equal to 0 now from these two terms t is common from these two terms 52 is common so i will write here t common t square minus 64 and once we will take 52 common here we'll be getting t minus 8 equal to 0 now i will apply difference of two squares formula so t times t plus 8 times t minus 8 plus 52 times t minus 8 equal to 0 now t minus 8 is common from both the terms so i will get t plus 8 is common i will write second bracket as so it was t minus 8 times t times t plus 8 so i can write t square plus 8t and plus 52 this was our last equation so we can factor like this now we can conclude either t minus 8 will be 0 or t square plus 8t plus 52 equal to 0 if i will consider our first equation i can conclude t will be equal to 8 and t was our substitution y plus z so i will write y plus z equal to 8 now this equation and yz equal to 4 our equation number 
we will consider and we will solve this new system. Let us take this quadratic equation also. I will check the discriminant value only, which is equal to b square minus 4ac. So minus 4 times 1 times 52. So this will be equal to 64 minus 208. Value will come out negative. We will get complex solutions only. So I am writing complex solutions. That's why this quadratic will be rejected. Now we have to solve this system. So from first equation I can write from this equation z will be equal to 8 minus y. And this we will apply here. So I can get yz equal to 4. So y times 8 minus y equal to 4. y times 8 minus y equal to 4. Or I can write 8y minus y square equal to 4. Multiply this equation with negative 1. We will be getting y square minus 8y equal to negative 4. Now I will add both sides. 16. Let me add here 16 and this side also 16. Now we will get LHS as y minus 4 whole square. So y square plus 16 minus 8y and RHS will be 12. Now we can consider a square root both sides. So y minus 4 will be equal to plus minus 2 root 3. Add 4 to both sides. We will get y equal to 4 plus minus 2 root 3. Or I can write two y values. 4 plus 2 root 3. And second value 4 minus 2 root 3. Root 3 is 1.732. If we will check, then this second value is less than 1, greater than 0 but less than 1. But our condition on y was y should be greater than 1. And if we will check, our first value is greater than 1. So I will accept first one, we will reject second one. So y equal to 4 plus 2 root 3. Now we have x ready and y ready. Let us put the value. So I will write E equal to x over y. x was 10 plus 6 root 3. y is 4 plus 2 root 3. Or we can write 2 times 5 plus 3 root 3 over 2 times 2 plus root 3. So this will be over. Now we can rationalize our denominator. So 2 minus root 3. Here also 2 minus root 3. Now denominator will give us a square minus b square form. We can write 5 plus 3 root 3 times 2 minus root 3 over 2 square is 4 root 3 square is 3. So denominator will be 1. So we have to consider the product of numerator only. So 5 times 2, 10 minus 5 root 3 plus 6 root 3. 3 times 3, 9 over 1. So I will get 1 plus root 3. This is our final answer. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care of yourself. Goodbye.